Columbus Day, the holiday celebrating Christopher Columbus for stumbling ass backwards into the new world and then killing most of the people who lived there. But for a lot of Americans, that story isn't as charming as it once was. You likely learned this line in school. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. In 2020, Columbus wore orange paint. Demonstrators around the country have been calling for the removal of statues of Christopher Columbus, saying the Italian explorer is responsible for the genocide and exploitation of native people. The Christopher Columbus statue in Boston defaced, specifically beheaded. In Minneapolis, protesters tied ropes around the neck of a Christopher Columbus statue and they pulled it down. Demonstrators cheering as they brought down a Christopher Columbus statue in Baltimore. and It was then dumped into the Baltimore Inner Harbor. Oh, look at that. Columbus is still exploring the oceans. Don't ever stop doing what you love. But guys, look, for real, we need to think about whether it's a good idea to tear down these statues. Because statues or where the birds poop. What are they supposed to do now? Hold it in? And I feel especially bad for the people who made these statues. You put all that work in, and you don't know if this guy's gonna get canceled in 100 years? That's so unfair. That's why beheading the statue is the best solution, because you can save the body and just pop on the head of someone else, like Shaq. You see? Flawless. But while one group sees tearing down Columbus statues as an attack on colonialism, another group sees it as a personal attack on their culture. Some here feel like they're the target of reverse racism, arguing we should learn from our past, not erase it. First thing that I learned in third grade, Christopher Columbus discovered America. Yep. So he's an Italian immigrant, okay? But he's telling you we This, he this here so represents speak. something to me, my Italian history. It's terrible that they would de degrade something so sacred to us. An attack on Columbus is really a hate crime against Italian Americans. We all remember 9-11. After that fateful, unthinkable day, you remember, right? Red, white, and blue was everywhere. In a respectful sense, this is our 9-11. They're doing the same thing that Columbus did. They're coming in our neighborhood and taking away our heritage, okay? They're hypocrites. Wow, okay. That's an argument for Columbus I can safely say I've never heard before. You can't just come in here and destroy our heritage. That's Columbus's thing. No backsies. And by the way, I can't believe that the other guy said that in a respectful sense, this is our 9-11. Look, man, I don't care how respectfully you put it, you can't compare anything like this to 9-11. Like, does this guy go through a drive through like, excuse me, you forgot my fries. And respectfully, this is my 9-11. Now, you might wonder, why? Why would Italian Americans want to commemorate the worst part of their culture? Like, for instance, I love being black but I'm not gonna put up a statue of OJ in my backyard, especially not while my white friends are there. But once you hear why those statues actually went up in the first place, you can understand why they are so meaningful to Italian Americans. In the late 1800s, Italian immigrants were arriving in the United States in big numbers, and they faced harsh discrimination. They were treated as perpetual foreigners and their Catholic beliefs opened the door for even more discrimination. So they embraced Columbus, after all, he was Italian and Catholic and already admired. So he quickly became an icon for Italian immigrants who argued that they too belonged in America. In 1892, Columbus Day was first brought into the school system. A year later, Columbus became the theme of the World Expo in Chicago, branding him America's hero around the world. As Columbus and his legend became further embedded in American culture, so did the Knights of Columbus, a Catholic social club founded by Italian immigrants. By 1937, the Knights of Columbus had gained enough influence to convince President Roosevelt to proclaim Columbus Day a federal holiday. Yeah, I know it's easy to forget that today, but there was a time when Italian Americans were badly oppressed in America. And they held up Christopher Columbus as a role model because he put them at the center of America's story, the same way Puerto Ricans hold up Alexander Hamilton. And look, it's hard to reconcile someone's actions when you've built them up so much. Not just as a person, but as a symbol. I mean, just ask anyone who's trying to decide if they can play Michael Jackson songs at their wedding. But times have changed. And more and more people are finding it hard to celebrate Columbus knowing all the bad things that he did. The good news is that times have changed in other ways too. Italian Americans have gone from being persecuted 
to being some of the country's most powerful politicians, entertainers, and med school cadavers. So you could replace Columbus with any number of deserving Italians. I mean, just off the top of my head, what if we replaced Columbus with Dr. Anthony Fauci? He's an Italian-American hero. He's beloved and respected by everyone, or at least almost everyone. And he's trying to fight disease instead of spreading it all over the continent. And best of all, Dr. Fauci's a short guy, so you save on the marble costs. The point is, Americans don't need Christopher Columbus to celebrate the deeper meaning of Columbus Day. Honoring America's immigrant heritage, celebrating Italian culture, and most importantly, getting the day off.